Although an ex-member, I still know Scientology works and can benefit others, but the church itself is not for everyone. Hubbard started out with the book Dianetics as a method to resolve one's mind just by teaming up with another, but as his subject evolved into Scientology, the need for an organization grew. Not everyone can follow the church's policies. Not everyone can afford it. And with the church's terrible press, it's no surprise so many people steer clear of the church. Yet none of that managed to keep me away. But when I joined I wasn't aware that not everyone who wants to get auditing qualifies for it. I am talking about those who've worked for certain government agencies, those who are terminally ill, or those who have a psychiatric history, and as a teen I had an eating disorder that I was hospitalized and treated for with psychiatric medications. I could have just left in a huff, and sometimes I wish I had. But there are people who've trained as auditors and in time were permitted to receive auditing because of it. I would have likely been one of them, but halfway through my training, the church came out with The Golden Age of Tech, a revision of the books, the courses, and the auditing, as supposedly the church had for decades been delivering incorrectly. The quality of services improved, but anyone trained before this overhaul was required to retrain at their own expense, and I refused as a matter of principle. They might have eventually worn me down if I'd never found out about TROM. TROM stands for the resolution of the mind. It was developed by Dennis Stevens, a career Scientologist and friend of Hubbard's, as a way to achieve the stated goals of Scientology, just without the auditor or the church. Unlike others in the past who studied Hubbard's works then tried coming up with something better intending to rival the church, Dennis Stevens researched and documented his findings intending to share such with Hubbard. He just never got the chance. If any one thing sold me on Trom, it would be knowing just that. Everything I'd hoped to gain from Scientology auditing, I got from Trom. Plus a few pleasant surprises. I now pursue my spiritual freedom, but also enjoy a great deal of personal freedom that a church member simply does not have. Church members are forbidden to practice TROM. Those who engage in spiritual practices developed by former Scientologists are labeled squirrels and thrown out with a warning to all other members to disconnect from them lest they be thrown out too. So instead of loudly denouncing the church, I just stopped going. I don't want to make my friends and family have to choose between me and the church. I get a call now and then, I tell them I'm busy and that's all one really need do to leave the church. Though I have no illusions of millions of people practicing TROM, everyone should at least have a chance to learn it and practice it, and that's why I am no longer a Scientologist, but a traumer, and invite you to learn about this subject too. If you are a Scientologist who's happy with the church, then never mind any of this. TROM is not for you. It has never been, nor ever will be, my intent to talk anyone out of their religion or their church. For those unfamiliar with Scientology or TROM, I recommend you watch the video Time Breaking, The Illusion of Time Explained and if you are a former Scientologist, I recommend watching Returning in Dianetics vs Time Breaking in TROM to get a clear idea of where Scientology ends and TROM begins. The Church of Scientology has the right to choose which people they help and which people they don't. But I have my rights too. And so do you. Thanks for your time. I'm Allison Tandry. We are DIY Salvation. Don't just use your mind, resolve it.